Well, hey everybody, this is Stocky again. You can call me Don for StockyStocks.com. The last video segment we did was uh, about the uh, 700 BDL and Winchester Model 70 hinged floor plate that we carry, uh, traditional Oberndorf and the tactical steel versions. Uh, this particular one is going to be a brief overview of the different detachable magazine assemblies that we carry that will bolt right into your rifle depending on the configuration at hand. Now everybody loves a detachable magazine. You can put it in your pocket, you can put an extra one in your pocket, you can pop it out when you want to eat lunch or go back to the car. Uh, you know, easy to reload, you can carry, you know, an instant reload in your pocket in case you need to. So there's lots of reasons for a detachable magazine. The drawbacks to some of the detachable magazines on the market is reliability. They, they feed very clunkily, uh, you like that word clunkily? Um, you know, they're just not as smooth as a 700 BDL with the traditional magazine spring and follower with the hinge floor plate or ADL for that matter configuration. But if you want a 700 detachable magazine rifle this is going to give you your overview as far as which DM to choose and as I said some are way more reliable than others. Let's start out with the fact that Remington offers a 700 BDL DM they call it it's a standard 700 BDL rifle with Remington's inexpensive 700 detachable magazine assembly and their detachable magazines. Now, the one thing that you'll notice, the characteristic of all the 700 DMs that are made by Remington in a non-tactical configuration, their tactical configurations use the HS Precision M24, which we'll get into in a second. Okay, but this is the hunting DM and it has these slots in the stock right here. Okay, this is because when you put the, put the assembly together and you put the clip in, there's two buttons right here that you squeeze to pull out your magazine. Now these can be filed into any standard 700 BDL stock, uh, you know, without worry of weakening it too much or anything like that. It's just a pain in the butt to modify a nice new stock or even your nice old stock for that matter. Um, for one of these detachable magazine assemblies because they're not the smoothest, most reliable system on the market. So we don't carry them. The one thing to be aware, if you have a 700 DM rifle, one that was actually made for Remington's detachable magazine assembly, is Rem Remington removes the feed, feed lips from your receiver. So there's nothing to hold your cartridges in the rifle if you wanted to convert, let's say you can convert an ADL to a BDL, everybody knows that, but you can't convert the uh, 700 DM to a 700 ADL or BDL because there's, no, there's nothing to hold your cartridge. The feed lips are gone. So you have to convert that if you're getting a new stock um, to one of our detachable magazine assemblies because the feed lips that hold the cartridges in place are an integral part of the magazine as we'll see in a minute. Let's say you have a 700 BDL and you just you want to convert it to a detachable magazine assembly. What do you do? Well, very simple. You get what's called our M4 detachable magazine kits. The M4 designation means that this will fit into a standard 700 BDL stock, just as slick as can be. So you would just you'd throw away all your other magazine and bottom metal parts. Uh, you'd use your existing screws. You'd bolt your receiver right into this configuration. And then your choice of magazines would just pop right into it. Now another option is HS Precision's new Generation 2, Gen 2 for short, uh, detachable magazine assembly. Now this is the same system that's found on their, on their uh, M24 tactical rifles. Um, it's a very reliable system. It's a double stack, so it's a relatively short magazine, and it'll pop right in to an HS Precision stock through the simple removal of this little piece of composite right here. 
because the latch is, is sturdier, because it's a taller latch on the HS Precision system, removal of that little piece of composite material, either with a piece of sandpaper or a Dremel, or you can just take a screwdriver, put it on the edge of that, and give it a nice solid whack and just knock it out. You'll never see it again after you bolt your rifle together. Remember, there's aluminum right here, so it's not going to hurt anything structurally. And your HS Precision DM will then fit right into it. I'm not going to knock it out on this new stock here, so. Um, but you can see how it's very close to just dropping in, and then with that piece of composite material gone, it'll just bolt right in. Now, I can say the same exact thing for most Remington 700 BDL stocks. If you just take, let's take this SPS, or this VTR again. Very close to just bolting right in. Okay, very, very close. Take just a little bit of a minor adjustment, you know, basically in the same spot, right there, okay? And you'll be able to get an HS Precision in your standard 700 BDL rifle. Now, as you may be aware, the U.S. military, the U.S. Army in particular, when they bought their M24 rifles, they bought them all in 308, but they bought them in a long action configuration. Now, this has caused more than a little confusion. You know, everybody uh, was questioning, geez, you know, why did they put a 308 in a long action? Well, the reason is because they're now converting them all over to 300 Win Mag. Okay, they're just going with the standard 300 Win Mag, belted, you know, factory round, and that's what they're putting in their new sniper rifles. So when they decided to do that, they wanted a new obviously mil military specification, mil spec for short, configuration um, that again would bolt right in to the stocks as they specified them to be cut. And we bought it. We brought it in. Here it is. It's called the M5 Stealth. Okay. Now this is a very unique system. It's T7071 aluminum. It's machined by Remington Custom Shop machinists, the same people that machine our M4 as well. And it has what we call a stealth funnel. In other words, when you put this in to the appropriate stock, in this case, a Manners T4, you're going to notice that there's a, a feed funnel right here. Now, why is that? Well, on the flush mount ones, you have a tendency, at least I do, when you try to uh, put your magazines in them, ah, here it is. You know, you're like this shooting it. You're trying to figure out how where your magazine's supposed to go. Okay. Now you're not going to have those problems with our M5. Put that into the stock. You need to slam home in a fresh clip. There it is. Okay. You just put it right to the back of the funnel, bring it forward, and slam it home. Just like you would an AR-15. Okay. Obviously, the military likes this not only from a reliability standpoint, but also from a familiarity standpoint. Because now uh, soldiers and Marines can simply uh, operate their magazines the same way they operate their AR-15 magazines. One other consideration before we stop is what would you like your magazine to be made out of? Do you want it to be made out of aluminum? To be a little bit lighter in weight? Choose the M4. Do you want it mil-spec steel? Then choose the M5. These are steel magazines. Now, the next series of videos that we do are going to be the individual magazine systems, pros and cons, to help you make a decision between which one to use. So this is Don, purveyor of StockyStocks.com, signing off. We will be uploading those individual magazine reviews and magazine kit reviews very soon. Thanks for stopping by.